Thank you, Madam Chair. I appreciate it. And I want to thank Chairwoman Kaptur and Ranking Member Simpson on all their hard work on this. Madam Chair, it is critical that we continue to invest in our nation's nuclear capabilities. We know China has nuclear energy ambitions and that we know that if China takes advantage of their nuclear program and explores it entirely, it will put us at a great disadvantage if we're not doing the same. According to reports, the Chinese Communist Party has taken special interest in thorium molten salt reactors. It is investing $3.3 billion to develop these reactors for their nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. The Department of Defense acknowledged that the very, there's a very real threat here that's posed by China's growing nuclear capabilities. The fiscal year 2022 omnibus directed the DOE to report to the committee on the possibility of using TMSR programs and the federal U233 supply to provide abundant and reliable energy while having far less waste. While I know we're only a few weeks outside the 90-day report window, it's vital that the department produce that information quickly so that we, do, we uh, do not hand Communist China, and let's be honest about it, our number one geopolitical foe, so we don't hand Communist China the next century of global power production and projection. Further, this committee should encourage the development of advanced nuclear recyc recycling technologies for spent nuclear fuel, which will allow us to develop a sustainable fuel cycle. Failing to keep pa uh, peace, I'm sorry, failing to keep pace with international progress in nuclear fuel recycling advancements will have serious implications for the energy and our economic security, as well as global and national security interests. So thank you, Madam Chair, and I yield back.